Hello, my name is Pierre Fontaine. This is Homeopathic Services. I've been a professional homeopath for well over 20 years, 25. I have been specialized in autism and pandas for the last 25 years as well. I'm very happy to have done that and taken that uh, avenue. Uh, today we are talking about some misconception about acute flares and chronic treatment. Um, so we have ASD. Within ASD, autism, there is uh, yeast flares, parasitic flares, bacterial flares, viral flares, right? So my job, really, my, my first and foremost my, the first thing I try to do is to find a great constitutional remedy, okay? I try to find a great constitutional remedy for the whole condition, including, that includes yeast, parasitic, and so on. It can only include it because all of this matter, bacterial, viral, parasitic, and uh, uh, f fungal, represents far more cellular activity in the human body than actual human cells, okay? There are much, there is a much great, many, 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 many times more cells of these four matters, parasitic, bacterial, yeast, uh, uh, fungal, and viral, there are far more cells in the body of these four than they are actually of uh, uh, human cells. Okay, so to begin with, with, with a chronic remedy, all is taken care of. Okay, it, the attempt is to return a symbiosis of human cells combined with all these other ones. Okay, we're not, we are not pristinely 100% human. We would not be able to, we wouldn't be alive. So that's number one. So according to constitution, I give a homeopathic committee. There are times when there are, let's take yeast flare because it's the most uh, uh, common, yeast flare or parasitic flare. What I do then in such an instance is we dose the chronic remedy differently, okay, in what I call subacute or acute fashion. If that does not help, right away, right away, we're not waiting days or weeks or months, right away, then I try to find a remedy according to the symptoms that are coming up with this flare. In yeast flares, very commonly, green around the red ring around the anus and and uh, uh, restlessness. There's a lot of a lot of symptoms like uh, like that, and we always try to find what is individualizing in the child. What symptoms is individualizing in the child during the flare? We give that remedy that has resonance with the flare, okay? A remedy is not taken out of the blue. It's meant to have resonance with the flare in, a, in order to cancel it out. Because believe me, since there are far more of those four categories, cellular activity, no matter how much we try to kill parasites, viral, bacterial, and fungal matter, it will always be there. It is f from before life until after life, it is these are with us. So they need to be in symbiosis. That's what the remedy does. That's what a great homeopathic remedy will do. It will reestablish the symbiosis of human cells with its whole environment, okay? There is no need to kill. Killing, when you kill, when you think you're killing one, you're killing many. The problem is you don't know what others you are killing. 
and therefore the dysbiosis, the imbalance, just gets greater and greater and greater, and it becomes impossible to reverse, uh, uh, to bring a child back from this enormous imbalance that is caused by the willingness of killing it. I understand it can give short-term results, but it is not the long-term solution for most, for the wide majority of children. So what we do is give a homeopathic remedy for the flare that has resonance with the flare in order to completely get rid of it. And then we can go back to the chronic remedy when it helped. Okay? Or we can stay with this acute remedy. It may help uh, the chronic condition as well. But most of the time it is just for the acute and then we move back to the chronic and move forward. And when we are able to do that, when we are able to deal with the acute in a very appropriate fashion, the chronic will always move much faster. Improvement will always be far more rapid. And that is absolutely great to see. The same holds true, by the way, uh, when there is a cold or an infection. If we deal with it from an acute point of view, then we can really move the child forward very, very, very well. Um, so that's, that's, that I think is, is good for everybody to know because I have this reputation. Everybody tells me, well, you give one remedy. No, I give one remedy at the time. That is very important. Okay, We're not, not a million things because then, first of all, we don't know what's doing what and we really uh, 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 smearing, if you will, the, the case. The second thing I would like to talk about is I've noticed since I see patients really all around the world, I've noticed certain things really help children in terms of nutrition. And so with my new patient as well as my current patient and, and old ones, if you like, uh, uh, I will give some recommendation in terms of what I have seen over these last 25 years that really helps the children in terms of nutrition, okay? And the third thing today I would like to speak about is the film. I, posted the, uh, I put the poster up on my page, uh, Just One Job. Just One Job is a wonderful film that uh, details the, the, the prejudice, if you will, that has been against homeopathy, uh, why that is, and the film really puts the entire thing. It's a great story. I happen to be in it, but that is not the main thing. It's the story of the, uh, um, uh, how to say, the prejudice against homeopathy and, 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 and why it happened. It's really wonderful, really wonderful, very enlightening. Anybody can, uh, can organize a screening. It sounds like a big deal, you see, or, or, or organizing a, a, a screening for a film, but it really doesn't cost anything. It's filling out a short formula, very short, <laughs> name and address and phone number. Uh, online. I put that, that link there. If anybody is inclined on doing that around the country, um, uh, go right ahead. It'll be fun for you. You'll meet people. And let's take it from there. Okay? Uh, thank you for listening. Let's do the acute and chronic and move these children forward faster than we've ever been able to do so. Thank you. Bye-bye.